and I guess we're all worried about yeah. the big things that are happening this weekend. Will they get rained out? One big one comes to mind tomorrow, right? Yeah, the game. A lot of Hog fans want to know if the Razorback game will be affected by rain tomorrow. Boy, no pressure. No pressure on me to get to <laughs> give the you. answers. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, there is a little bit of rain in the forecast, but I don't think it's going to be enough to wash out your plans or the game tomorrow. That's what it's looking like right now. So we show you your rain chances here, just the 30% chance tomorrow, but those chances do go up as we get into Sunday as well as Monday and Tuesday. And I do expect these to con these percentages to continue to increase, especially the Sunday through Tuesday time frame, as we're watching more organized rain potentially return back to the area. Fayetteville, you can see there, this is the intersection of I-49 and Weddington. Not a bad day out there today. 84 degrees, just two degrees above your average of 82. Meanwhile, in Fort Smith, a couple of cars there on Garrison, I believe. They're at 86 degrees was your high today, a degree below your average of 87. Temperatures right now continue to cool off. 69 in Huntsville, 66 in Eureka Springs, a degree cooler at Drake Field at 65. Meanwhile, you get into the River Valley and it's a nice a mix of 70 degree readings still and will continue to fall by about another five degrees or so. We do have this area of high pressure continuing to slide off to our east. The flow, the return flow around that area of high pressure is starting to work in and push in those clouds and that precipitation. We do have an area of low pressure back across Texas. That's going to also start to send moisture in our direction tomorrow. Not a lot tomorrow. It's Sunday as that system gets a little bit closer. More Gulf moisture will be uh, streaming up into uh, the River Valley as well as Northwest Arkansas. You'll see that here as we go hour by hour. Tomorrow morning should start out dry. Then we'll have a slug of moisture kind of slide through, but it will. The models are saying it might lose a lot of its punch as it gets into northwest Arkansas so that by four o'clock just some spotty showers and that's what we'll deal with tomorrow night. So you can see maybe just south of Fayetteville here a scattered sprinkle that would be during the game. So as I said earlier, maybe bring along that poncho and then as we get into Sunday, more organized rain and this is what we've been dealing with. So remember a couple of weeks ago, some pockets of very heavy rain, then it goes away and then it comes back. You know, a good part of a certain day may be dry and then it's wet at night or it's wet in the morning and then it's dry in the afternoon. That's what we're going to be dealing with here for a good part of the early part of next week. Weather Prediction Center saying a good inch or two is possible. This is from Saturday night through Tuesday night that we're looking at there. Lows tonight mostly in the lower 60s about where we should be. We'll rebound nicely tomorrow, but that cloud cover will keep temperatures down by a few degrees. You can see there in the lower 80s. Not a bad day tomorrow if you're going to hit the pool. Should be in the 60s and 70s for northwest Arkansas with those shower chances uh, returning by the afternoon. Same thing for the River Valley. Temperatures in the 70s for a good part of the day. Here's your extended forecast for northwest Arkansas. A real rinse and repeat forecast we got going on here with the chances for showers and a few storms each day almost not expecting severe weather or organized severe weather, which is good news. Again, more of a heavy rain event. Same thing for the River Valley, Allison. Plenty of chances for rain, unfortunately, over the next seven days with seasonable temperatures. Oh, I tell you what, we're going to be tired of looking at rain. That's for sure after this is all said and done with. So